This is the best intro I agree with. Do we restart this? <laughs> no, let's just keep going. So Ryan, how are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> Episode two? Episode two. Oh, like live? Of Gentleman's Chat, uh, live, live action. Live action. <laughs> live in living color. Live action. <laughs> drama, drama. Yeah. Drama parody. Yeah, this is episode two. A very special episode for Memorial Day. Because it's, well, it would be past Memorial Day by now. But this is for everyone out there that is having a great Memorial Day. Remembering things for that day. And we <laughs> wanted to remember Remember our fans that have died? What? In combat? What? <laughs> for all the veterans out there, we salute you. Also, for those about to rock, also, we salute you. Salute, salute you. How, how is, is this a bad intro? No, this is good, this is good. This is good. <laughs> so how is everyone today? We'll, we'll go... Well, want to go with Thompson. alphabetically or with Thompson? Let's start with Thompson. Um, well, I'm great. Um, I worked uh, all night last night and then woke up and then got picked up by Ryan and driven to uh, Andrew's Pizza Shop where uh, we ate. And we went to an arcade named Tornado Terry's. Check it out, bring a ticket stub, you get $2 off. Product placement. Uh, Product placement, indeed. Then we went back to Andrew's Pizza Restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with a larger group of people. Uh, and I got quadruple anchovies on my pizza. And Boop. it was. Bloop sized. It was an interesting experience. How would you say the pizza tasted like? Like anchovies. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Andrew, how are you? I'm good. Bro, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Went to an arcade, got to see Andrew. You're in town. It's almost your birthday. It is almost my birthday. Tomorrow, right? Yeah. It is tomorrow. On yeah. Memorial Day. Which, this would be out past Memorial Day, so we remember. We will remember my birthday. Yeah. How about you? Syn synchronizing? Uh, no, my watch stopped, so. Because I can't synchronize on my phone. What are we doing? We're synchronizing for your birthday. Oh, okay. But I yeah. worked all day today, by the way. Yeah. And you saw two groups of people. And I saw these guys twice. <laughs> Three times now. Yeah. So that is true. Been but, um, great. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been good. I just came back to see everyone for uh, for the Memorial Weekend. And I um, had a good time. I wanted to do, I wanted to get, get the whole gang together. You know, you know, Thompson, Andrew, Brock, me, Joel. And, um... um <laughs> but seriously, Joel is, where is Joel? Washing his hair. Joel's washing his hair at the moment, so he's not here at the moment. But uh, yeah, so that was a good intro. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into the, 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 uh, the cold front. The cold front. The here's, cold... here's how we make the sound. <clears throat> so now you know. And you at home can <clears throat> along. We, yeah, well, we, we have, have a sing along. I don't know about you guys, but I actually do the guns do you do it? too as well. So like when we're doing guns, I'm going. I'm usually like, yeah. just quiet. Yeah. <clears throat> and just like this the entire time. <laughs> the entire time we're talking, I'm just like this. Out of shame? No, I just have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> too many lasers. Too many. But yeah, it's really so, cold. It is cold. But um, yeah. So the cold front. What is going on in the cold front? Well. We have a project uh, from last week. We were talking about uh, how Thompson was going through old footage of a, of a project that we uh, once did. And, um, yes, that's right. And it's actually uh, got put together faster than, than I thought. Yes, so. I, I ran into some, some difficulty uh, <clears throat> making a, a true special edition because it's in... Uh, 320 by 240 resolution. So any special effects or even 
screen wipes that I thought I might add would just come across as a garbled mess. <laughs> so I just slapped it all together and uh, exported it. And yeah, it's ready to, ready to rock YouTube in all its low resolution glory. <laughs> yeah, so when you watch it, please do not put it in full screen because all you will see are squares. So, but I'm actually really excited to see this project again, and I don't think uh, Brock and Andrew have seen it yet, so... I didn't even know it existed until last week. So, it's a, it's a, it's a treat for everyone's eyes, even within a cold morning, to see <laughs> how far we have come. Yeah, I mean, we could have a whole nother gentleman's chat that's just like a mystery science theater type thing of us watching Garp and us burying our heads and then being like, what the, the heck is this? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we have tried. We, we wanted to do kind of like a, either a commentary or um, just any any sort of um, re reliving our, our old videos to be like, this is where we come from like um choices that was that was something that never really got off the ground we we had a, a pilot for an episode of a series that never really got off the ground and i thought it'd be a cool idea to go back and kind of do a commentary on it or go back and kind of just kind of break down mm -hmm. what worked and what didn't and what yeah. we learned from it and even with like ryan and thompson stuff i'd like to do go back and see all that kind of stuff do they know about ryan and thompson I bet some people out there know about Ryan and Thompson. Yeah, but talk me, about it. Uh, me and Ryan have known each other the longest since, well, technically since we were wee little ones. But then we forgot that we knew each other and we met each other in high school. Uh, but around my freshman year in college, his senior year in high school, we started making these videos uh, called Ryan and Thompson. And uh, I don't know. We can probably throw up some links. Mm. Uh, but it was, it was very, very early. Like you can sort of see proto Cold Morning type stuff in it. That you know, like when you watch Cold Morning, you see that kind of stuff. That's either like my influence or his influence. But uh, we we hadn't learned that there's an audience out there, and that's what you, you make videos for. Brian Thompson was just like, we're making videos to make ourselves laugh, and we succeeded. And only those who are our closest friends laughed too because they knew how eccentric we were. And then we met these guys and they were like, okay, your videos suck. We should form a better company and call it Cold Morning. And we were like, yeah. And that's, that's the story of Ryan Thompson. Yeah, so, um, yeah, well, uh, well I, I feel like we, we're, we're showing you kind of like our, our like history or kind of like that very back catalog to see if, if you are interested to see where we have come from, now you know. And um, so, but, so that's one thing that's coming out is uh, Garp is coming out pretty soon. Um, probably, I would say, how about a week or the next week of this would be good. I mean, you'll see it, you'll see it sometime soon. Very soon. If you subscribe to us, then you will know as soon as it comes out. It's not going to be like Kelly Speckles. It's actually going to come out. So. Yeah, it's, it's like 90% done already. Yeah. So. Just like Kelly Speckles. Just like. <laughs> and then we're going to forget about it. And then, no, we're not going to forget about it. But um, anything else, personal projects. Personal project wise, why don't, why don't we go down the line again. Thompson. Uh, he garped. Yeah, he garped all over garped. the place. So, Andrea. Um. I bought the domain name. Nice. It's a A hyphen typical American. My tagline is ordinary days in, the, in an extraordinary life. Yeah? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah? Okay. It's enigmatic. I like that one better than the other one. What was the other one? It was like, you're a lazy son of a bitch or something like that. <laughs> that, was, that was my number two. Um, that's all I got. I okay. Just, that's it. That's cool. Brock. I drew a robot. You drew a robot? Yeah. Cool. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I saw it. He's got the like the the mustache, right? Or, yeah, he's know. he's a sort of like an evil magician robot. Mm -hmm. And he's beat up and they call him Mesmobot. Mesmobot. He's pretty cool. And where can they find that robot? In 
description, descriptor to the description warlord. Down there? Down there. It's down there. But if you want to see my work, you can go to my webpage, broxilla.com. Two Z's. Two Z's. Two Z. Two Z's. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Two Z. Um. <laughs> uh. As for me, um... <laughs> it's funny! You're losing it! That's a... Reminds me of a Max Payne thing. Yeah? Anyways, as for me, uh, I'm just busy with work. So, I'm taking pictures. Brock took some pictures for me. Yeah, well, we did some, uh, we did some cracker challenges. Yeah, we did a cracker challenge not we, too long we ago. We did a saltine challenge? Yeah. yeah. We did the, the six crackers in a minute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you do it? I yeah. tried, but then everybody made me laugh, Dude, so I only ate two crackers. Hey, he's such a... It was a humdinger. Try a cinnamon challenge next. Oh, God, don't you follow me? No. You just <laughs> breathe cinnamon out. It's like the cracker challenge. Oh. You know, you're, you shove all the crackers, or however you do it. The way that I found was that you eat them one at a time really fast. You don't eat them all at the same time. Because then if you open your mouth and try to talk, it's just like mm -hmm. cracker dust. Yeah, that's what happened to me. They yeah. made me laugh. That's I pretty crackers crying. everywhere. Yeah, he got he, he got cracker dust all on from Michael Ferris' second favorite pair of jeans. Yeah, oh, that's too bad. Good thing it's just cracker dust. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, personal projects. I've just been busy. Um, I'll probably get some stuff out. Uh, and uh, like last time, if anybody has any ideas on where we might be able to host, um, maybe T-shirts or anything like that, please let us know. Did anybody see the T-shirt? For on the um, yeah yeah looks so good. I, I don't I don't have time to do that. So. <laughs> it's okay, but um you're, you're not important to me. <laughs> you you I'm are, sorry. but I just it's okay. I'm busy all the time. I understand, but yeah, if you have any ideas on where we could probably sell something like that, let us know, and we would like to make it as almost like we almost like as inexpensive as just like giving it away because I think it would be better to have you know if it's something that you like and it's something that's affordable that would be great like just the cost of making it and that's it yeah, yeah we don't want to make money off the merch we just want the publicity like we just want the knowledge that someone's wearing our shirt out there mm-hmm so like I and I think it would be great if it's like, oh, it's only like five dollars. Well, I don't know if it would be five dollars. It's like only it's like ten dollars. I can, I can swing that or anything like that. So let us know. We would like to see if we can at least get something out there. And uh, yeah. Anyways, that's cool. That was cool. Personal projects. Yeah. So let's go into the middle section. And uh, this uh, has sparked the interest. Our our I guess adventure today has sparked the interest of this middle section. I guess Brock will. Um, talk about the middle section. Okay, so like Thompson said, we went to Tornado Terry's, which is a local arcade cabinet. Cabinet. Uh, it is one big local arcade cabinet. Yes, <laughs> and uh, they have lots of uh, different cabinets there. And I would have, I, I would just want to ask you guys, what is your favorite cabinet game? <laughs> Does it have to specifically be a cabinet? No, it doesn't have to be a cabinet. But you could, we could, we could go Xbox Live as well. Because it is Xbox Live Arcade. Yeah, arcade. Okay. There's no cabinet though. <laughs> no, there's not. A cabinet. Put your Xbox in there. That's true. But not PSN, because really, screw those guys. Well, <laughs> do they have? Well, they don't really have arcade games. No, not really. Do they sell old PS1 games? Oh yeah. Anyways, PS2 games. Tangent there. Anyway. So, Ryan, you get to go first. I get to go first. Um, hmm. I know a lot of people will, will probably, because I, I don't, I don't want to say DDR. I'm trying to think of like something that I can always go back to and always play. Um, so, DDR. Well, other than DDR. I'm trying to think of like maybe something different. Street Fighter. Street Fighter is fun. Um, Revolution X. Revolution X is really fun, and I want to say, I want to say Windjammers. Windjammers has become a favorite of mine. If no one's ever heard of Windjammers, it is a, it's on Neo Geo. Oh, and another good game, I'm sorry, I'm just throwing out a whole bunch of games here. 
Another good game is Twinkle Star Sprites. And if anyone's ever played that, it's it's a game, it's a shoot 'em up game, or I guess a shmup game, and uh, it's vertical. And it's just all sorts of, the, the reason why it's so fun is it's not like you're a, a spaceship fighting uh, aliens or asteroids or anything like that. You're a, you get to choose a whole bunch of characters. Like one is like, um, I think one is like a dog and a cat flying in the sky. And it's really a trippy game. Another one is like a, uh, a, a witch. Another one is, I think, two twins that shoot, shoot hand bullets. I don't remember, but it's it's a very weird game, and there's a whole bunch of power-ups, and it's kind of like um, you both fight each other, and you you have to almost like a puzzle game, where the more enemies you hit on one side, it'll uh, hit give you give the en or other player more enemies, and it's kind of like a, a mix between a puzzle, a mix between a shoot 'em up a mix between just crazy, crazy things happening. So that's a really good game. And then uh, Windjammer is also a great game. But if anybody, anybody else talks about Windjammer, they can explain it because I already spent a lot of time explaining it. It's a weird game. So uh, yeah, uh, all those games: D R Windjammers, Evolution X, Twinkle Star Sprites. Those are those are good in my book. Anyways, next. Um, I hate to tangent, but it's it's your birthday now. Oh, hey, happy birthday! birthday. birthday. Yeah. Oh, here in the corner. Go back in the corner. So it's my birthday now. I'm a quarter of a century old. That's... Yeah, welcome to the quarter century club. Oh, and yeah. I'll be leaving it in, oh. you know, like three days, so... Oh, that's right, huh? Hey, that's okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna have to say Windjammers. I, I, I wasn't really huge into arcade cabinets, but um, since we started going to Tornado Terry's, uh, we discovered Windjammers, the best game that nobody's ever played. How do you, how do you, what is Windjammers? Windjammers is a mixture of Frisbee, Tron, like disc fighting, and tennis. That's how you describe it. I would think, I would also think it's a very extreme version of Pong. Yeah. Well, Pong is a very not extreme version of tennis. That is true. But, yeah, Windjammers, like there's a whole bunch of different characters and super moves and all sorts of crazy stuff. Super moves, that Japanese announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Five points! <laughs> so, uh, say. Um, Good show! <laughs> That was British. Yeah, there's, well, yeah, there's, there's a, a British, British character. Shout! Uh, my favorite, my favorite is the guy that like, he runs and slaps himself against the wall and goes, Ooh. Oh, the German guy. Yeah, that's that's a very German thing to do. Slap yourself against the wall. And go, Ooh. <laughs> it's because he can't control his muscles; they're too big for his body. Yeah, you gotta play it. I'll just us talking oh, about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, I already want to play it again. I played it for like two hours today. <laughs> That's the most efficient way to celebrate. To slap yourself <laughs> against the wall. They, they're the only ones that know that though. Oh, okay. okay. What about you? My my games? Yeah. I have a few actually. now Because I, I didn't know this was the topic until... I walked in the door. I walked in the door. And so I've been thinking about about all the games that I would like always make sure to stop off at when I was at an arcade. Um, so, any racing game, I played that. My favorite one being the uh, Ferrari 355 Challenge, and it had the three screens like that, mm -hmm. and uh, had like a gated shifter, and it was a six-speed, and it had a clutch and all that stuff. It was like, it was pretty cool. Um, Science Scope, played a lot of that. You wanna tell us why? <laughs> Because I would look for the beautiful women in the uh, in their apartments, sun, sun sunbathing in their apartments, and then I'd shoot them. <laughs> that's, that's our just, hero. That's just what you do when you're when you're when you have a sniper rifle. You just shoot you beautiful shoot women. People. I mean, what is the first thing you think about? Yeah. Um, shooting beautiful women, duh. 
I played uh, House of the Dead, the first one. Um, also, Die Hard. The arcade? Uh, hard yeah, trilogy. the arcade. Yeah. I played that because it was at our movie, our local movie theater. That's the beat 'em up one, right? Yeah. And I, 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 like that one. I don't even know how much, how many quarters I've dumped in that stupid game. Because I kidnapped the daughter. It's, <laughs> it's one of the hardest arcade games I've ever played. It's got those quick time events. Before quick time events were quick time events. Yeah. It's and like you you're running down, down the hall. <laughs> Watch out for these guys. Or it's like there is one where you're running down the hall, and if you press the kick button, they both do like a jump kick to these two guys that are walking out. It's like what? Oh. Huh? We just climbing the ladder and stuff, yeah. falling down. And then, That's a good game. Then the other one that I that I have to say, because it was at like the burger place that we always went to, it's called Hudson's, and the game was Galaga, and I played Galaga so much. Actually, up until recently, well, recently not anymore. Recently being like six years ago, I had the highest score on the Galaga machine there, and then uh, some kid broke it. Really bummer. Bum me out. They better fix it. <laughs> good, good one. All right. <laughs> nice. Thompson. I just woke up. Sorry. Um. Well, I don't really have an all-time favorite because I've sort of been in and out of the arcade scene. Uh, but let's start with my earliest arcade memories at uh, White Rocks Gate Rink, TM. Oh, I like that place. Um, where they had a cabinet. Cabinet? Cabinet. Cabinet. You're, you're the one that started this. I didn't do that. Kelly Spuckle started it. Yeah, he did. Uh, of uh, Sunset Riders. That's the one I was thinking of, not um, Moo Mesa. I'm not talking to anyone over here. <laughs> it's laughing, it's not. Um, but yeah, just, you know, we were, I don't know, like six or seven, and uh, we would go to White Rock Skate Rink after school with our uh, after school, like, extended day program. It's like a daycare. Um, and we go, we play Sunset Riders, and the, you know, the, it's one of those 90s games where the, you made a diehard joke with the speech and there's mm -hmm. a boss at the end of the first level that, he says, bury me with my money, but it just comes out like, marry me with my bunny. <laughs> <laughs> We're always like, what? And then we went to the train level and it was super hard and we didn't really ever get past that. But, okay. Then, almost... Uh, by the time I was leaving uh, the era when I went to the skate rink, they got bottle tods and <laughs> bottle. I was thinking you're saying bottle caps. It's like uh, I don't they, know that. they had the Battle Toads arcade game, which was really fun. That was a really super fun game. violent. That's why it was so fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. I Still, kids want. Oh, well, that's yeah. true. That's why you always, always had to have the blood code in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I had it on SNES. We didn't. We didn't get that. Yeah, Kicking that? sand out of people's mouths. <laughs> 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 but I knew whenever I went over to my friend's house, it was A B A C A B B. It's the because uh, that's all you really wanted for some reason was just like oh, I gotta see the blood. I gotta rip this guy's head off. See all the sand. That's <laughs> f uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we were going uh, so well. Sorry. Then I got to high school Not and so oh, he said it again. Team Pond team worse than said. Anyway, just beat in, the in order to get that joke, they have to have watched whichever, like, so single... Go, yeah, so go back and watch them all. Watch all of our podcasts. It'll or just, entertain you for or a few just hours. just listen to them, because they're podcasts. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, but you don't watch podcasts. They're podcasts. You listen with your ears. <laughs> you watch with your eyes. So anyway, <laughs> then I went to high school, and, uh... I've been in an arcade in several years, and Ryan, no matter how much he tries to uh, say, oh, it's not DDR, it's DDR, because all throughout high school, it's like, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm going to Richardson Square Mall. It's like, oh, you're just going to play, going to go to the arcade, yeah, you want to come? Okay, I guess. And so, 
I would sort of wander around and like play a game. I was like, man, I haven't been to an arcade in years. Uh, mostly played like shooters. Like, uh, I, I was a really big fan of Time Crisis. Um, because they have the recoil. That's parts. the only reason yeah. I played it, really, was because of that. Sure. Clack, 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 clack. And then you got in, you did that, and it looked like <laughs> That's how they broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, now my favorite arcade game is Windjammers, like everyone else, because it's just, it's addictive and fun, and I wish that they would publish it on, like, Xbox Live Arcade. That'd be cool if it was Xbox Live, and then you played on Live. Oh, yeah. Think about that. Come on, yeah. whoever owns the rights to all those old Neo Geo back catalog, make it happen. Yeah. From Cold Morning to you. You already have like three or four people that would buy it. I don't know. Would you buy it? I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like it would come out. Say it came out at midnight on like October second. I don't know why that day. I, I October first. I. At like 11, I just sit there like buy, 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 buy until it came out. Just and you're like, I bought it, and then you go leave. God, play the crap <laughs> out of it. Yeah, that, that is a good game. I like it. So, which which would be your favorite game out of that? Would it just be Windjammers right now? Would it, or did it go through kind of phases? Yeah, those were all the phases. Okay. You just didn't know about Windjammers till now. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know about it until less than a year ago. Mm -hmm. And now Windjammers is the game. It is the game. It's the game with the, you get the honeys. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Katie. Um, she tried to blame her uh, her losing terribly to me on uh, the, the the chicas in the crowd. She's like, those, those large breasted women in the crowd are distracting me. I'm like, distracting you? You know, A, you're a girl, and B, those are horribly rendered women. They're, they're square. But anyways, so there are what are honeys in the game. Yeah. <laughs> but they're just relegated to the sidelines. And that one Japanese girl that you can play as, and she's like, she's, like, she's like, really fast. She is. I like to play as a British guy. Says, good show. Like the German guy, slaps himself up against the wall. Yeah. Anyways, cool. Middle section. How is it done? <laughs> done. Cool. Finite. Finite. Thompson has been working on his uh, Italian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and he's by, been working on a lot of great accents. By, by working on Italian, I mean I I played uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood recently and would try to re <laughs> reproduce whatever line I heard spoken on the screen. So. But with that, okay, let's go into uh, the cold morning questions section. And of course, again, I don't have any questions for anyone. Crap, but we didn't prepare for this. We have a question right there. We from have a nameless audience member who's so, just constantly giggly. Yeah, I was thinking since we don't have the, I don't have a question. Michael Farah, I mean, audience member. <laughs> well, giggly oh, audience right. member. We, he'll be able to ask us three questions. Oh, three questions. Three oh, questions. Okay. So. Um, with that, we will all answer these questions, whether it be right or wrong. It can be any type of questions. It can be, it can be a question regarding us. It can be a, qu a question regarding, I don't know, like a history question. All of us are going to answer. Tom's is probably going to be right. I have a degree in history. Yeah. So, we have three questions that will be asked, and we will answer these. So, or we can do the thing where we each say a say a word. For the answer. <laughs> so it's like, I think that this... That'll never work. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna come out nonsense okay. and some poo-poo jokes. <laughs> What's not to like about that? Dick poop. That's what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Dick poop, dick poop, dick poop, dick poop. And there everybody, has, everybody has a word. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Michael Fair, audience member, what is your first question? Going back to the arcades, if you were given all the resources you wanted, what would your ideal arcade cabinet game be? Okay, so he said, if we had all the resources that we had, or that we, we were able to get. All the resources in the world. There. What would be our dream arcade creation? So, 
Let's see. Who wants to tackle this one? I'll tackle this. Okay. Windjammers. <laughs> it would it be Windjammers or it's like just, a sequel to Windjammers? No, it's it's Windjammers. Like it's the Neo Geo, but it's not Neo Geo. It just says Windjammers on the side. Maybe with your face on it? Not, no, it's just Windjammers. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't need me in it, it just says Windjammers. It's perfect already. Okay. Anyone else want to go? That's a... I don't know. Um... I'm thinking face right there. I mean, I got, I got, I got one. Go if, okay. I, I got this idea when I was in a... What was it? Like, game theory class? And, um... It is... It would be very interesting. I, I wanted to make a rhythm-based first-person shooter and I don't I don't know how it was gonna work and it was gonna have like branching storylines and stuff like that and the one thing that was kind of I guess like one of the um, one of the I guess features I guess or gimmick I would I would rather call it a gimmick is like you know in in like uh, when you do um, rail shooters there's always that weight you have to, and there's like weight across the screen, you just have to wait and you can't shoot anything. Well, in this game, you can shoot one of the people telling the story and then it <laughs> radically changes the story. So like, say you were like, um, there's like the commander going like, we need you to go do this, and then you could shoot him. And then everyone starts attacking you, and that would be how your story <laughs> ends. Or so, begins. Or begins. So it was... Commander. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was gonna be, and I don't know how it was gonna incorporate the rhythm. I, I think it was gonna be like, you had magical guitars or something like that, or laser guitars or something. You refill your bullets by dancing to a DDR song. Yeah. Between each level. You do a dance of your homeland. <laughs> but um. So you're like Eagle Bones Falcon Hawk from the Aquabats. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> he has a. He has a laser guitar. That's a lightning guitar. Yeah. It's a... So, maybe the soundtrack will be by the Aquabats. But uh, Aquabats, if you're listening, let's talk. What's up? So, yeah, mine would be a rhythm-based first-person... Rhythm-based rail shooter that you can change the outcome via what you might think is a, a cutscene, but everything can be changed. So that's mine. Windjammers. I have nothing original, but it would be Tetris. Like a crazy Tetris? No, just straight up Tetris. So just like straight up Windjammers? Yeah. All HD Tetris. Okay. Because I really, really love Tetris a lot. A lot. <laughs> How much? A lot. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's my bathroom game. What? Like you, you poop and you play Tetris on yeah. your phone? Oh, okay. You poop and I'm you're like, Lonzy. <laughs> oh, that was no piece. Oh, no, no. that's inappropriate. That's a no piece. I would say, uh, like an HD Windjammers, but uh, <laughs> but for the sake of making it interesting, and because Ryan brought up his rhythm-based game idea, back when uh, he thought up that idea, we were roommates in college. He's like, "What do you think of this idea?" I was like, I don't understand it, but if I were to make a game with a guitar controller, I would make what is essentially a platformer along the lines of Kirby's Air Ride, but as you go down the path, kind of like the rail on Kirby's Air Ride, like little color-coded things go by, and instead of like holding down A in Kirby's Air Ride and letting go to like speed up and slow down, you start like hitting the colors as you pass over them and then like strumming would jump and like tilting would engage some sort of uh, star power yeah and uh, but not with something like flight power no. I'm just star star and power star. I thought it was a fairly practical you know use for this rhythm based controller that I know right now the, the craze has died down, but this was like right when uh, Guitar Hero 2 was a best-selling game. Uh, it was right when Harmonix split from uh, Activision and like 
Rock Band was gearing up and Guitar Hero 3 was gearing up and like, you know, it, would win. it was it was really big at the time and I was like, man, you're right, Ryan, these, these controllers can be used for more. <coughs> so, if anyone's watching, Kirby's Air Ride with a guitar, but change the name because it's copyright Nintendo. Hey, Shigeru Miyamoto, let's talk. <laughs> okay, next. Next question. Okay. Who would win in a fight? Thompson or Kelly Speckle? Oh, I oh, thought you were going to I was going to be like, Andrew. Yeah, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought we've done that one. We've done that one. It's always Andrew. Yeah, if, if what was it? If she, Joel would be like the dodgy, like Wrigley sort of. He'd be squirrely. Squirrely, yeah, that's what it was, but Andrew would win. Yeah. It was, who would win in a, like in a battle and we all had our own weapons? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was in a, oh, that was in a Minecraft one that didn't, didn't. Oh, that's out. right. But anyways, who would win in a fight, Thompson or Kelly Speckles? I don't know that I'm the most objective uh, source on this one. What do you guys think? Mm. Well, I think Kelly Speckles definitely has the drunken rage. I would see yeah. him as like a drunken master. I don't know. I mean, like drunken boxer. Yeah. I think I, I think I think Kelly Speckles would definitely. Because it seems like he's been through a lot, you know, yeah. divorce and whatnot. Yeah. So I mean, he's probably got nothing to lose, clearly. And uh, he probably just like bite and do whatever he can to just take you out. I but then uh, you would have, you know, you you would be a little bit more emotionally stable and calm. And I get this situation. Pull out your gun and shoot him. <laughs> no, I have a secret <laughs> weapon that I'll, I'll explain in a bit. But uh... I could see him as a. He has the mouth. Like, he can. Like. Like, he can walk the walk. But, no, wait. Talk the talk. He can talk the talk. But can he walk the walk? I don't know. Because I could, I could see. Because he's. he's he, he talks about anything. And if he. He talks about what, what's on his mind. So, but. As actual fighting, I see him fighting like his his fighting techniques would be as a drunken bro or something. I I, I see it as uh, anyone that's willing to to do black magic and <laughs> and <laughs> cut themselves and do a blood sacrifice. Oh yeah, would, would win. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's got he's got a crazy, yeah. crazy other side to himself. Yeah, that that would be tricky. But on the other hand, I've read up on his his past, and I have a secret weapon. I would just bring a kitten to the fight and Ooh. just hold it out in front of me, because when uh, when Kelly Speckles was a cub reporter, he uh, he was witness to a kitten factory explosion, and he got like kitten all over him. And it really, really messed up him. And so I would just That's go like, time. like, you can't, you can't hurt me without hurting the kitten. And you'd be like, oh god. That's a great yeah, impression. Yeah, as you better yeah. say, it's pretty good. I've been working on it. It's pretty spot on. <laughs> you playing a game with uh, Kelly Speckles in it, and every time he says something, you try to recreate it. <laughs> I just read everything in, in Assassin's Creed <laughs> in Kelly's voice. <laughs> oh, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> That's a line, and somewhere in the game, I think. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm it's you. Requiem's got the budget. Anyways, okay. Third qu Are we on third question? Yes. yes. Number three. Okay. Number three. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Do you want anything? Is that really that a was, question? That was the sh question. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm sorry. Mean, I mean, we had we had pineapple. I'm good now. <laughs> We're gonna end on. I'm going to the kitchen. Would you like anything? Come on, step it up. I'm gonna say no because I had pineapple. <laughs> it's not. That's not the real question. We're waiting for the question. Oh, wait, yeah. we'll wait patiently. That was the appetizer for the real question. You can just time lapse this wait and put a little fog. <laughs> Clock wipe. What's your spirit animal? What is my spirit animal? Ooh, that's pretty cool. I won't even wait to crack that one out. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and your 14 hour day makes you crabby. <laughs> a little bit. Like a crab spirit animal? Crab? Yeah, there you go. Spirit animal. <laughs>
turn. <laughs> oh, I win. Oh gosh, spirit animal. Hmm. Mythological? Anything. Uh, Are we talking? Oh, anything? Okay. Anything? Goat. Want to be a goat? It's, you have ev anything. Oh, anything? Can it be a turtle? Anything? Be... Oh, well, a goat still. <laughs> you gotta be a turtle hybrid goat. <laughs> it's like a goat with a, a turtle shell. So you can like, pull itself in if it's falling down the mountain. Did you know turtles breathe through their butts? <laughs> <laughs> now I do! That um, just makes you want to be a turtle goat more. Also, 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 that, also that turtle goat can breathe through its butt <laughs> and it still has the horns. Anyways, so you want to be a turtle goat? Yeah, a turtle goat. Okay. So it's both butt. Next. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, we got nothing after yeah, that. Yeah, me either. Alright, see you later. Have a good day. <laughs> no, we're not chat. done. Okay. I gotta rethink this. Been like a Are you trying to one up the animals. turtle goat? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I mean, I don't know. What do you want to go? What's your spirit animal? I, I know what mine is. I don't know what mine would be. I went into the wilderness and I smoked the crack for three days and I saw my the spirit peyote? animal. <laughs> smoked the crack? Yeah, I smoked <laughs> the crack. <laughs> um, this is the crack. Let's pick some hybrid animal from Mastercard or something. Um, like a platypus bear. <laughs> a man bear pig? Rabbit. <laughs> You'd be a rabbit? Why? Rabbit. A rabbit root? No, just a rabbit. Okay. A, a finely dressed rabbit with a top hat. So like Alice in Wonderland. Kind of, but not as stupid. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a nice watch? Six shooter, yes. And I have a six shooter. Cowboy rabbit. A finely yeah, dressed rabbit cowboy. Six shooter one cowboy? Yeah. I would you know what I would be? I'd be a bear with wings. A falca bear? <laughs> <laughs> one second. Let me let me let me delve into this a little bit. Freshman year of high school <laughs> of my biology my biology project was to cross two animals. And I crossed a bear and a falcon. You get a falco bear? Is it a falco bear? A uh, falco bear? I'd be a falco bear. Does it breathe out of its butt though? No. Oh, okay. It's only a turtle thing. Oh, okay. But see, it got, it got all the best parts of both animals. Yeah, well, really, really, it was just—it was just a giant brown bear that had a huge wingspan, and that was it. Just a flying terror. Does he have? The, he still has like, the teeth. It's not yeah. like a beak. No, he's just, he just, it's just like a picture of bear a with huge wings. The uh, perched on a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sack of pooped from that tree. <laughs> that would've been really terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, you I mean, that would really... Oh, uh, yeah, I'd be a falcon bear. <laughs> Thompson. Um... Does that mean mine's a tote? It's like a... Or a turtle. Or a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta really gotta pick it there, because... Girdle is two meanings then. I like girdle. And a tote. Like a tote bag. Yeah. I was thinking more like the blue things you take to kindergarten. Keep all your glue in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. Um, I just gave this a lot of thought in the uh, you know, last 15 seconds. <laughs> when we were having Andrew's story. No, I was too busy laughing during that. But after that, Andrew's I was like, story oh, time. I'm next. I gotta think of something. I'm gonna go with Sphinx, mm. because, like the Sphinx, um, I, I, I tend to consider myself smart, and I'll, while I don't pose riddles, because that's what they're famous for, um, I'll like be like, oh, did you know why this is? And why is this? It's usually something vague or historical or something no one cares about. 
and if you say no, you know, I'm you kind lazy. of an arrogant dick, and I'm like, sure. who doesn't know that? Here's some facts. And if you do, I'm just like, oh, I, I have nothing else to say now. Because, like, in the the uh, the Sphinx of, of mythology would ask a riddle, and if you got it wrong, they would kill you. They would maul you to death. But if you got it right, they're like, hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I guess you can get past me now. I'm out guarding this door, but obviously you knew the riddle, and uh, I'll go reevaluate my, my lot in life. <laughs> so, would you guard doors? Is that what you would you be? Do you like to guard doors? Is that why? Or is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll mostly guard doors and be like, in order to get in, you have to tell me which ancillary Star Wars character did this task in this movie. And they're like, Porkins. No, it's never Porkins. <laughs> How much glue did you take to school? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I really like glue time. So like, <laughs> there was there was a a glue time, <laughs> not arts and crafts. <laughs> bye bye. Just smear it on the paper, and just you kind of like rub your whole hand in it, and then you just smear like other crap on the on the page. I was way ahead of my time. Like I was already doing like. Expressionist art <laughs> with the macaroni and the glitter. What are you telling me? You just no, it was on the paper. I mean, I was oh, using yeah. my hand. To... We're good. Yeah, we're good. It's way ahead of my time. Yeah, okay. That's good. Play time. <laughs> You're in the Falcon Bear and Turtle Butt. <laughs> just turtle Butt. All right. I think, okay, that's yeah. good. Do you like those questions? Yeah, those are good. That was good enough to end on. Yeah, it was. And, um, yeah, it was good. It was good having, having the gang, the whole gang. Oh, back everybody's, back to everyone. everybody's here. Glad you washed your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this special episode of The Gentleman's Chat. Um, hope you had a uh, great Memorial Day. Um, I guess if you're American, do they have? Memorial Day on... I'm sure they have other equal holidays. If, you're, if you have another holiday, I hope you had a great holiday as well. They have similar ones, but the origin of the United States Memorial Day is set, uh, is based upon uh, Decoration Day, which was unique to the American Civil War. Uh, it celebrated the dead Union soldiers after the Civil War. And so, really no other country will have the same day with the same meaning that we do. History. And there you go. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Brock is already asleep, and I guess Saul passed our bedtime. <laughs> so we're all gonna go sleep in a bed. <laughs> Together? <laughs> we'll have, still have to wait till next time yes. to find out. <laughs> Quick answer? S stay, yes. stay tuned for the next episode of Gentleman's Chat and <coughs> Stay tuned for, for, for the night, night cam episode. Where it's just us sleeping. Gentlemen's chat and it's all green. us under the covers and we're just pulling. Well, we actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Bye, that's, that's it. Goodbye, Happy everyone. birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. <laughs>